Uh, I'm Tyler Hobel. Uh, I'm a junior at Cleveland State University, and I just started my own company called Bloom Clothing Company. Uh, Bloom is a clothing company that I started on July 27th of this year, and it was basically just me wanting to start something new that I haven't done before, because I've worked in the kiss kitchen industry so much, um, and I wanted to change it up, so I thought, hey, I always kind of love fashion, and always kind of love style, and I love doing stuff for a greater cause, so I thought, hey, bees need help. I was going home one time, and I saw a Save the Bees sticker on a van, and I thought, I think that's my cause behind a clothing company. So I researched it, found the Honey Bee Conservancy, and started Bloom. Bloom stands for flowers, um, which correlates with the bees directly, and if you look at my logo directly, you can see the correlation between flowers, bees, and the whole cause. So I had a lot of support going into this. I came up with a company on July 25th, literally came up with some of the concepts for it, developed it over two days, and dropped a bunch of my savings on it on the 27th. And I basically told my mom, hey, I'm doing this thing, if you want to help, you can. You can't turn me back now because it's not refundable. And she went, all right, well, uh, I'm in it with you now. So she decided to try and learn everything about it that I know. She tried to help me with the books as much as possible, whether it was taxes, any sort of thing that would be looking into legal requirements. And then she goes, all right, give me a few pictures of it um, so that way I can get some pre-orders for you. She went out and about all of her little networks and she made me, I don't know, she probably sold 10 shirts the first day that I got them because she was that excited about it. And we're about three months down the road now and she is still just selling away. She's still uh, contacting everybody and the second I get a new product she goes, hey, you like that t-shirt, right? She goes, you'd like a hat. You'd like a long sleeve. How do you feel about a bath bomb? So she's a really good salesman and then my brother's been really heavily behind me. He's uh, He graduated from Lake Erie College. He's got a business degree and he's helped me with marketing. He's a social media just maniac and he has helped me market that as much as possible, develop all the things I don't know. I mean, I've never had a Facebook in my life, and this kid knows everything about it, so it's very helpful. And my friends, every step of the way, they keep asking about product. They'll even do something that means so much to me as far as a retweet. They'll retweet it, and all of a sudden, a hundred more people that are in their networks and not mine will see it. So, really, I've had a lot of support. No really naysayers, just people giving me constructive criticism and supporting me. Um, so, what really keeps me going with the company is knowing that it's something that I've created. It's not fun sitting there looking at a cost ratio, knowing that I have to raise a price or that I should drop a price, and sitting there putting formulas in Excel and seeing what projections look like. It's not the most fun job. But what keeps me going would probably just be that this is something I started and I want to see an end goal with it. Whether one day I would sell the company, one day I would decide, hey, I've done what I have to do, let me move on to something else. But I don't want to fail. Um, and I don't want to let down all these people that have supported me so far. Um, it, it's hard to come up with designs and hard to know, hey, I've got a selection of 42 colors, which three colors do I pick for this product? It, it's rough and it, it's hard to do sometimes, but what really keeps me going is just knowing that this is a project of mine and I never quit a project. It's start, middle, and that's the hard part, and then seeing it all the way through. I have a vision that this is going to be something big one day. This is something that a lot of people can get behind. It's just me communicating it to those people. And I think if I stop now, then that'll never happen. But if I just keep putting in that effort, it's really going to be something that maybe I'll be interviewed on Ellen one day or Oprah will bring me on over and put a bunch of t-shirts under everybody's chairs. Just that's kind of what keeps me going. But I would also love to see the moment where I can walk down a street and not know 10 different people and they're wearing my clothing. So just experience a day where I see people wearing something that I've produced and I have never met them in my life. I have no sort of connection to them through a friend, nothing like that. I just want to see that stranger aha moment in a few years. And I want to be able to employ friends and family in my own actual physical uh, distribution plant um, and manufacturing plant where I can manufacture my own clothes, know it's done responsibly, um, and know that I'm employing people that truly deserve it and that we can build something from literally the very product's beginning from the first stitch all the way to when I sell it to a customer.